ProLin PLN. Hello, this is Tony Lyle, a CAM application engineer at ProLin. In this snack bite, we're going to look at some of the capabilities of the NX Master Model and its downstream associativity in CAM. First, the Master Model. What are the major benefits? Instead of all the data in one single file such as this, you create your 3D model and you start adding drafting data or PMI data, assembly data, um, CAM operations, CMM inspection data, or perhaps some animation. Um, your file can get rather large and potentially you could get to the situation where there's so much data that you can't even rotate your model. Uh, so NX allows you to break up the data into multiple files so a single file doesn't carry too much data. So using the master model, we can create this master model and create files off of it that are linked so you can isolate your work environments or applications for your teams or departments, again, while they're all linked together. So you could have files for drafting or PMI, assemblies, file for CAM, file for CMM, and so forth. Uh, so this way, multiple people can have multiple applications running and working at the same time. You can even start other applications of the manufacturing process during the modeling process. If your designer releases a partial model, uh, you can begin these other applications and start tying and linking them, them together before the modeling process is complete. Then the designer can just send the, the finished model and the downstream associativity will take place and you can automatically update. So let's take a look at our master model. So this is kind of what we may receive from our design team. Um, I like to create a uh, blank as its own component that I can bring into the CAM application to, um, to use for, for different uh, variables inside the, uh, some of the operations. So I've created another file with the blank as a bounding body that's linked to the part, the master model. Okay, so let's take a look at our CAM environment. I have our workpiece is set up with our part and there's our blank and I've got operations already uh, established in here. So let's take a look at our resulting part first and then we'll make an engineering change. <clears throat> so we have our part finished. I'd like you to pay attention to our toolpath here on this last one, that it, we've cut this flow cut with reference tool, um, but it didn't cut anything here. One of the changes that I'm gonna make, it's gonna automatically update and, and find those based on the reference tool because I'm gonna make these radii smaller. All right, so let's go into the master model and make an engineering change. I just want to move a face. I'm going to select uh, some of these front faces here. And we'll move it oh, about, let's make it an even 10. Okay, so this, we've, we've, made, a, we've made our faces 10 millimeter bigger. I'm going to also change this edge blend here to about 2.2 millimeter. And now when I go to the blank, you'll see that the blank has even expanded as well because again, it's associative, that downstream associativity takes place. So with these files being linked together, the downstream associativity takes place. And then into the cam file, again, it's taken place. It's moved our vice jaw and our toolpaths are out of date, we simply have to regenerate. Again, you'll see that that downstream associativity takes place throughout all three of these files. They're all three linked together. We can make our engineering changes and automatically update these toolpaths. We'll wait for this to get done and we'll take a look at some of these toolpaths. Okay, so one thing to note again, I haven't, I haven't, didn't have to reselect any geometry. Simply clicking on the parent and regenerating all the toolpaths is going to allow me to maintain 
all the pre-selected geometry. Now you'll see that our flow cut has even taken place with this radius that we had changed the dimension of. So we're going to get a toolpath in our flow cut reference tool inside here. So there's our new toolpath completely updated with a simple click of the parent and regenerating the toolpath. Thank you for watching this snack bite and please check out our other snack bites and lunch bites in the future. Thank you. Prolin PLM.